I switched from the DJI Mavic Mini 1 to the Mavic Mini 2. Here's the Mavic Mini 1, here's the Mavic Mini 2. And why could the Mavic Mini 2 be your best first drone or your best travel drone? Well, let's go find out. Look at these people here. They know the right place for the photo shoot. Cinque Cento, and you get the photos of this little view right here. Amazing spot here in Florence. Now the DJI 2, the Mavic Mini 2, looks pretty much the same as the Mavic Mini 1. There are some subtle differences inside. Let's look at it. There it is there, and there's the beautiful sunset. There you see the big difference. It's 4K, you see it's written right there on the front of the little gimbal lens. Instead of 2.7K, this thing shoots in 4K at 30 frames per second. The same as the Mavic Mini 1, 30 frames per second, but this does 4K. The other thing is the transmission, 100 megabytes per second, instead of the 40 megabytes per second on the Mavic Mini 1. Up front, it has this LED light that you can program. You can have it flash the rainbow colors. You can have it any color you want. It's a blinking LED D light, which could be handy when you're flying around other drones and you need to identify your drone. The Mavic Mini 1 didn't have that. On the back, what's cool, no longer the old USB style charging port, but now a USB-C charging port. And with the Fly More combo, also that battery pack has the USB-C charging port as well. The wing tips look different. They have an orange little tip on them, so that's a big difference. The reason why is it's easier to spot now. And the other thing is the wing design is slightly different. Different. So is the battery pack in the back, so you can't use your Mavic Mini 1 batteries with the Mavic Mini 2. And you're not going to see it here, but inside it's got a different motor, a better motor, which means better performance, longer flight times, and just more efficient overall. Now let's look at the controller. Look at this beast compared to the old one. It's heavier. It's got a bigger battery inside. The antenna is up here in this phone cradle where you put your phone. It's got the USB-C as well. USB-C ports all around. Big thumbs up there. So a bigger battery means longer lasting time. So you're out flying, you don't have to charge this thing as much. The little knob controllers, they're in here. You screw them on and you're ready to go. Here it stacks up. Antennas are out on the old DJI controller, the Mavic Mini 1 controller, the Mavic Mini 2 controller. See the differences? See the Fiat 500? Classic. Now let's go fly. Look at this thing, it's already out of range. Aircraft not connected to RC. It's now returning to home, it should be landing soon. The DJI Mavic Mini 2, well, it has a better range. Listen to this thing, so much more quiet. I like that already about the Mavic Mini 2. Look at this, I'm doing one of these quick shots. And this drone, it has those quick shots, it has the 4K, the 2.7K. I just haven't run out of range yet. I haven't pushed it all the way to the limit, but I haven't run out of range. And the other thing is I've had no Wi-Fi or signal interference that's is forcing me to bring the drone back home. So this is much better. It's getting dark, it's time to land this drone. Now be careful when flying and landing this thing. I already made another video how I crashed my first DJI Mavic Mini. And with this one, I got the extra package, the combo that included two extra batteries, included the extra joysticks, extra propellers as well. Also with that package, I bought the Refresh Care package and that, in, that covers me in case I crash it or in case I have any problems with this drone. I'm gonna put all the Amazon links down below as well as a link to that video that I made already on crashing that Mavic Mini 1. Hey, just a quick note, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet subscribed, click on the subscribe button. Now back to the video. So why is two better than one? One is down here on the bottom, two's up on top. You can hardly tell the difference. Why is two better than one? Well, simply put, it's the 10 kilometer range. The number one only has 2.5 kilometers of range. This has 10 kilometers of range. Now I've never flown this 2.5 kilometers, but 
that means that it should go that far if you don't have aircraft interference and a lot of times especially in city areas you get a lot of mobile phone a lot of Wi-Fi interference and you can't get very far at all maybe only like 200 meters now this thing has a range of 10 kilometers it's not that I want to fly at 10 kilometers it just means it's gonna have a more robust signal and that's thanks to the connection difference this worked off a Wi-Fi connection this works off of OcuSync 2 and that data exchange structure is the same ones that's used in the bigger brothers the Mavic Air too. All this means that is when I go out on location, I'm getting my shot. Mavic Mini 1 users will know the frustration of remote control signal lost return to home and that's just too much so for me two is better than one so why get this drone as your first drone or your travel drone well it's the perfect size to throw in your backpack the Mavic Mini 1 I always had it in my backpack for the last year and it's great when you're on location to throw it up I've used it all year at events at bike races to get that establishing shot when you're up there and at this size you can easily put the controller and the drone in your backpack and you always have it now the Mavic Mini 1 and the 2 don't have obstacle avoidance or object tracking like the bigger brother the Mavic Air 2 but the lightweight the size wins me over and remember the Mavic Mini and the Mini 2 are 249 grams that means they're under the 250 gram limit that forces you to get a drone pilot license in many areas so with this you don't have to think about it you just get out there and you fly so the Mavic Mini 2 with this new range capacity this new stronger connection that one me over and that's why I switched from one to two.